Hey, I'm Andrea, and this video is about Red Sox catcher Connor Wong. According to StatHead on Baseball Reference, Wong is leading catchers that have at least 100 plate appearances with an OPS of 857. The biggest changes have come in terms of his strikeout rate, which is down 15% compared to 2023, and his contact rate on pitches in zone, which is up 8% compared to 2023. So let's take a look at some things that he's changed this season and whether or not he can sustain this pace. The reason why there's such a substantial change is because Wong made a swing change this year. So starting with pre-pitch, the first thing that jumped out was the position of the bat. In 2023, it was more vertical, but now he has his hands higher up and the bat is more tilted back. So the second change here is that his stance is slightly more closed off and his knees are bent. And I left in that white dashed line uh, to more easily see how his front foot is now closer to being in line with his back foot. But I also want to mention that there were other instances last season where his stance was way more open than that image, especially towards the end of the season. And we could see that here. So as you can see, his stance was a lot more open in the last couple of months of the 2023 season. And based on this, it looks like he may have started tweaking things and trying things out around August last year and then finalized his swing for this season during the off season and in spring. So going back to looking at the new swing, I just wanted to highlight um, some things that occur mid delivery because Wong eliminated a toe tap. It's hard to see in these images. So let's take a look at the videos instead. So here is 2023 with the tap, and now 2024 without the tap. We looked at his feet in the videos, but at load, we are seeing more separation between his bat and his body as well, and his hands are staying elevated. At contact, his front foot is planted. Last season, his toes would come off the ground when he made contact with the pitch. When you compare the videos like the ones we saw, the end of his swing looks more balanced and controlled this season. And based on his results, it's allowing him to reach more balls in zone. So in terms of the contact rates, um, I expect him to be able to keep up the success he's having in terms of getting to the ball and then putting it in play. However, I also think we're going to see regression in his service level stats and his strikeout rate. The first reason why I think this is because Wong has below average contact quality. So if we look at his power splits, we can see that this is especially relevant when he faces left-handed pitchers. There's a big difference between his expected slugging and his actual slugging. And while his isolated power stats are similar against lefties, it's still below average. So this uh, is a concerning heat map because it shows that Wong is only doing damage on pitches inner half and really only that middle and lower region. So this provides an opportunity for opposing pitchers to expose Wong on the full outer half and upper half. And my last issue with the contact quality is that he is almost exclusively hitting singles. His BABIP is also super high uh, at 394. So looking at this spray chart and considering that high BABIP, that indicates to me that some of these hits were more luck-based than ability-based. The second reason why I think Wong regresses is because he has below average plate discipline. Compared to last season, Wong improved his swing decisions. Like we can see that he improved his chase rate by 5%, which is significant and definitely a step in the right direction. However, his overall plate discipline is still below average. The combination of the below average contact quality and below average plate discipline leaves us with a contact hitter who isn't really providing high quality contact. So while it's clear that Wong has put in a lot of work to improve his swing and make it more contact oriented, for the reasons that I spoke about, I do think that we're going to see some regression from Wong as the season progresses. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow me on socials at Scalco Report. Thanks for watching.